so today it was, it was really um for me it was how do we have fun that's the foundation is really having fun but at the same time you know it's black history month how do we incorporate our black legends and black historical canadian figures into what they created you know so it's really very interesting to see all the different individuals that uh, the students chose. Right now we're painting um, our people that we had created. We're using different types of materials and Benny came in and kind of taught us some strategies to how to paint it. It's actually kind of calming to do for like the whole day. There's just like music playing in the background and you're just painting and like thinking of different colors and it's just like vibrant. It's, it brings joy I guess so it's really fun. I think the, the, uh, the idea of like brainstorming what you're going to draw and then drawing it right after that, right after that sounds like that's probably one of my favorite things to do because then I come up with a lot of options of what I could draw. I like that it's subjective so what you might like so you don't need to care about other people's opinions as much because what you like might not be what critics or other people like so you can do whatever you want and it's also it's also very relaxing. For me it's a very proud moment and especially being Black History Month where we can incorporate our history with a very uh, creative session such as the one we did. It inspires the kids. Like they, they, they won't forget this. And you know, if we do this more, and the more we do this, it creates the type of curiosity to learn about our history. The message for them was more about for them to be present at the moment and not think too much about the future in the sense of their careers, that there are, there are multiple paths that they can take. And they shouldn't um, think that there's only one way. I loved uh, Benny's story. I think it was very inspirational. Uh, it came out to me a lot because he shows a lot of people um, a way of showing uh, awareness to a lot of people that identify black out there. I really just kind of got inspired by it because of the words he used. And I just got inspired because at like a young age, he didn't know, like, he, didn't know he was going to be an artist. He really just wants the word to come out there and inspire all the young generations so when they're older they know what they want to do. I think Benny's presentation was really inspirational because he taught us like to do what you love and be proud of who you are. So I drew Viola Desmond because I think she's really inspirational how she didn't move when she was forced to sit in a black only area and that's really inspirational because she stood by what she believed in and what she needed. I think Benny Bing's presentation, it was really fun and inspiring to hear. Um, I think we don't really have these opportunities to have at school. And so for him to come into school, I thought it was really cool because we got to do all of this art projects and stuff and we get to learn more about him and who he is. Right now, racism is still inside this world and uh, recognizing the black excellence of people is really helping that out because like everyone's equal, everyone's amazing, so no one should be judged for the color of their skin. To see the future of what is the next generation is, is encouraging. So I wanted to um, give them some little bit of words of wisdom and some things that um, I wish I heard when I was exactly that age. And it, it makes me happy because I, I think it's very important that we as individuals excelling in our fields need to dedicate time to give back to our communities, to inspire, to show them that um, you too can be as great or even greater.